What's up, Prana Tips here. Welcome to another very exciting tutorial. You have seen me creating a lot of tutorials using Codity, which is the code editor or code playground on Kotus.com, which we sort of maintain. But basically what Codity is uh, and provides kind of like a way to kind of focus on the core functionalities of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And it takes away all the hassles to kind of set up uh, the whole, you know, thing like, you know, sort of auto refreshing and, you know, all the preprocessors in CSS, which we provide here, like, you know, less SAS and stylus and SCSS. The thing is that obviously in order to kind of use these tutorials, you need to know what is the workflow that I am using on my computer to kind of generate these cool things. And in the previous tutorial, I talked about how we can create this toggle switch using SAS. And that's pretty much what we did, as you can see here. But today I'm going to I'm going to show you how you can uh, sort of create an automated sort of uh, workflow for your front end development, which leads to generate these kind of things on your computer, on your own website, where you don't want to really use Codity, right? So let's get started. First, first things first, in order to do what I'm going to show you today, you need to have Node.js. So I'm going to just type Node.js here. Those of you who do not know what Node.js is, it's just a runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. It's basically some some sort of a technology that you can use to, to create some backend technologies and backend backend like codes and backend sort of applications, right? And that's what we're going to use to kind of automate our front end development. So go ahead and download it and install it. Uh, right now I'm on Mac, but pretty much what I'm using just resonates with with uh, you know Windows machines and Linux machines as well. So I'm going to the uh, sort of my bash or my shell here and I'm going to type I'm going to just create a new directory called sas test uh, going to my sas test I'm going to create a directory called scsrc uh, and then in my src I'm going to create a new directory called scss right and then again I'm going to create another directory called sas uh, sorry css and coming out, uh, you can see that we have a directory called SRC, which has SCSS and CSS subdirectories. And I'm going to put all the S SCSS uh, source files over here. And then I'm going to uh, sort of use SAS compiler to kind of generate the CSS and put it in this directory, right? So seems like complicated, but let's go ahead. You'll see that it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to create a file called index.html. Uh, in the SAS test, and I'm using Sublime Text for my editor, so uh, go ahead and download it and use it if you want, but it really doesn't matter whatever uh, editor you're using uh, to, to write your code, that would be fine. So as, you, as I said, we have an index.html, and then we have an SRC, which we have uh, SCSS and CSS. Uh, in my HTML, I'm just going to go ahead and create some HTML bootstrapping uh, code here, just type SAS test over here. Now, in order to automate my process, I'm going to use a tool called Gulp. So basically, there are two tools, uh, as I know, so, so they're called Gulp and Grunt. Uh, you can use any of those. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a matter of preference. I use Gulp because the syntax is easier and uh, it just it just does what I need. So I'm going back to my shell. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to look at it as a new project. So I'm doing npm in it here. And npm is the Node.js package manager. It's pretty much, uh, you know, used to download all the libraries and node packages that I need for my, uh, my project here. So I'm going to do npm in it to initialize my, you know, node project. I'm just going to press enter all the way. Uh, everything seems to be fine. All these questions that it asks. And then what it really does, it creates a package.json file, right? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use npm install again. I'm going to install gulp. 
and that's the tool that I'm going to be configuring to kind of automate my front end development process. And I'm going to pass a save div sort of argument over here because I want to tell the NPM or my node that the gulp is basically something that I use for development, but I don't want to use it in my final build or whatever I generate, which is my CSS. So I'm going to do that. It takes a while. It installs the gulp uh, in in the current directory. As you can see, it just installed a bunch of, bunch of packages. And if I now take a look at my package.json, you can see that it has a dev dependency and it's written as gulp, right? I'm going to go ahead and install another package, npm install gulp sass, and then I use the save dev the same way I did for the gulp itself and uh, you'll see what happens here so it takes a little bit and it just installs uh, the gulp sass as you can see and boom there we go so if I take a look at my package the JSON again you'll see that I have gulp and gulp sass already installed so now in order to kind of configure this gulp I need to create a file called gulp file.js right I'm using touch command to generate the file and then going back to my editor you can see that I have the gulp file.js and now what I want to do is just type gulp var gulp and this is pretty much JavaScript but this is something node related so it's node.js I'm gonna require the package that I used that I uh, installed using npm so that I can use it so I'm going to use gulp here and then I'm going to say sass and then I'll say require and then just type gulp sass because that's the name of the package and all those npm packages that are installed they go under node modules right and no, knowing that I have gulp and gulp sass installed the way you kind of configure the gulp here is that you define tasks like right so I'm going to define a gulp dot task I'll name it sass and then I pass a function as the second parameter and then I basically return a bunch of instructions here so I'll return gulp dot source src where and this is pretty much where my SAS or SCSS files reside. So I'm going to go create here a new file in the SCSS folder. And I'm going to call it main.scss, right? Now, knowing that in the src scss main.scss is the, knowing that this is the uh, sort of the path in the gulp.js, I'll say src scss and then main.scss right and then I use the pipe function and I pretty much call the sass as a function that I required so basically I get the source file from here I kind of run the sass on top of it to kind of compile it and then I'm gonna say another pipe and then say gulp dot dest which stands for destination and then I'll give my uh, final destination of the CSS file that gets generated by this SAS and that will be src slash CSS right that we created and that's about it so what I really need to do here is going back to my terminal right now we do not have anything in it right so if I do and there is nothing in the SCSS but if I do gulp SAS what it does is that it says okay using gulp file then starting the SAS and then it took 40 milliseconds and now you can see that we it generated a main.css right which is pretty much empty now I'm going back to the previous tutorial this is the tutorial that we did yet last time I'm going to copy the HTML from here going back to my editor and then I'm going to be here uh, sorry I need to go to index.html in the body section I'm going to just paste this and then going back to the uh, CSS portion of it which is written in SCSS I just copy this over here and then going back to my editor and I will do main.scss paste it over here right and then what I really need to do is go here 
and basically say uh, what I really need to do here is go back to my editor and do gulp sass right and then going back in my main CSS you can see that everything is kind of nicely generated these are all uh, CSS as you can see nicely set up and then going back to my index.html I need to only do link and then give it my src slash css slash main.css right now if I go ahead and open this file open index.html you can see that we pretty much have our switch sort of we used scss to write our css code and then we used the gulp sass as you can see as a task here and compile it right like this and pretty much use node.js npm and kind of gulp and gulp sass and then we use the gulp sass command which effectively runs this task over here which gets the source file runs the sass function which compiles this scss file to css and ultimately puts the result into src.css which we can use in our index.html right so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, i've already talked about this pretty much a year ago i'll put the link in the description go ahead and check that out it's more sort of comprehensive but still i thought this is a good to kind of refresh that knowledge and because we're going to use this in our course uh, animation uh, master class which you can find it by going to kotus.com uh, and then take a look at the first box over here and register here and start learning this it's going to be ready in a month or so so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial have a good day and night if you had any questions go ahead and shoot them down in the comment section and stay tuned for the next tutorial okay so have a good day and night and goodbye